go pew, pew. Since free is one of my favorite words, we're gonna start talking about as many fun and free games that we can. Are you excited? Because yes, we all want to play the best and the latest and the greatest of games. But unless you have hundreds of dollars just laying around to buy all the games, then you're like me and you have to play free games. That being said, if there's a free game that you absolutely can't get enough of and you would like to hear me talk about it, please leave your suggestion in the comments below. We're gonna kick off our free to play series with the first person combat shooter called Dirty Bomb. You gotta say it like that too, Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb has been in open beta for a few months now, and let me tell you, Zesty Mike has not stopped playing it. He is a huge player of games like this, so of course he got me playing it as well. I'm not as big of a fan as the PvP and the team versus team kind of games, because well, I get really frustrated when people kill me, because I kind of suck. <laughs> but I have to say that for a free to play game that this one is very well done. In the near future, London stands abandoned, a dilapidated shell of its former self. After a mysterious disaster, the International Crisis and Disaster Agency stepped in to clean up the mess and decontaminate the city. They failed. Badly. Now the streets of London are the playground of private military companies, PMCs, who battle to control what remains of the city's riches. After all, what's a little radiation sickness when there's money to be made? If that's got you interested, let's keep on talking. Dirty Bomb is a fast-paced team game that is supposed to challenge you and kick you in the teeth. There's no controller support or aim assist, so you have to rely on your skill and your reaction. In the game, you can choose three players, called mercs, short for mercenaries, to be part of your team. Each merc has its own stats for health, run speed, and abilities. You can rotate between your team after each death, and you can refresh your teams after each match is over. The mercs are unlockable, and you only start off with a few that are actually free to choose from. The free ones are Aura and Skyhammer, and they also rotate in different free characters from time to time. You can either use real money to buy new mercs and loadout cards, or you can accrue in-game currency as you play to buy them. Although each merc has their own strengths, the game really drives hard that you need to play as a team, creating balanced mercenary squads and coordinating with your teammates. Missions are in place to give you something to work towards, like getting 10,000 support XP. Once you complete the mission, you get in-game cash to put towards your upgrades. Now, one downside that they have not fixed yet in the beta is hacking. Hacking has become quite a big thing apparently, and hopefully they will find a way to fix this if they ever want to launch the game as not beta, because these are some pretty big hacks. People are using cheats to highlight where people are on the map and to even shoot enemies through the walls. Totally not fair. Well that's it for us talking about Dirty Bomb, <clears throat> I mean, Dirty Bomb. I hope that you guys do enjoy us talking about some free to play games because it never hurts to expand your Steam library for free. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and you can check me out on my channel, Brits Games. My links are down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Oh, hello, who is it? Uh, um, Bart? No, I'm not Bart, I'm Bella. Who's this bot you're talking about? Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.